There's a little bit of confusion about gingivitis or periodontal disease, because they're very similar, they're the same, versus stomatitis in cats, which is a very, very common condition in cats and very debilitating. Let's talk about periodontal disease or gingivitis. Gingivitis is redness of the gums, is inflammation of the gums. And it's from plaque, from which plaque is bacteria. So it starts with bacteria in the mouth, becomes plaque, and calculus, which is the solidification, or the plaque becoming solid. The actual bacteria of the plaque stimulates the body's immune system to become inflammatory. And with chronic inflammation, we get the supportive structures of the teeth lost. So it causes destruction of those supportive structures of the teeth. Stomatitis, on the other part, is not just it's a, a bacteria, because it is bacteria, but it causes a very severe inflammatory condition of the mouth or severe redness all over the mouth, not just on the gums around the teeth, but all over. And it's very, very debilitating where it's very painful for these animals. They can develop severe ulcers. They can stop eating and grooming themselves and basically not being very friendly because they hurt. It is a condition where usually the immune system is weakened or altered and they have an inability to fight off this infection, uh, which is bacteria in origin and subsequently developing severe periodontal disease along with the ulcerative area causing severe debilitation in the whole oral cavity. How do we diagnose this? mainly by clinical exam. We can do biopsies, and we do do biopsies, which is little, taking little chunks of tissue and sending it to a laboratory for histological evaluation. And that just means looking at the cells and telling what type of cell types there are. And we do that to differentiate stomatitis from tumors, because obviously tumors are a totally different thing and are treated totally different than stomatitis. The diagnosis is mainly clinical, as I mentioned, and it's really a very severe inflammation throughout the whole oral cavity. And we usually have associated periodontal disease with this. And it can be from just around the mouth, where we just see around the teeth, really severe ulcerations in that. And we can see it throughout the whole oral cavity in some cases. We really don't know the true cause of this, but we do feel that it's due to the, a weakened immune system and also can be adjuncted by viruses and other types of uh, bacteria and, and other types of inflammation in the body that can cause this. Now, how do we treat this? This treat is very hard to treat. It's not a simple procedure to cause this to go away. Stomatitis is something that is, is really hard to treat, so you have to be patient with your pet, your veterinarian, and also yourself, and be very diligent with the treatment. Normally what we would do is we would try to clean up the mouth first. And what I mean by that is have our friend under an anesthetic and take out teeth that are severely compromised, teeth that are basically uh, have resorptive lesions, which with periodontal disease, we do get a lot of resorptive lesions, which means the tooth is being eaten away. So we remove those teeth and get the mouth into a healthier state, and or if a pain-free state. Things such as pain medication, extremely important. Antibiotics, oral products to decrease the oral bacterial load, products to improve the collagen and the gum tissues in the mouth. So improving the general health of the gums, such as using one TDC on it, will be very significant in the improvement of the oral health of this condition. However, in some cases, we end up having to remove all the teeth. 
It's not it's something we want to do, but in some conditions we do, or some cases we have to remove all the teeth in order to get success. With this condition, as I mentioned earlier, is plaque the bacteria in the plaque that is the initiating spark this condition. So by removing the teeth, we significantly decrease the amount of plaque in the, in the oral cavity. However, there's still some plaque on the tongue and the roof of the mouth. So we can still have some inflammation and that's where some home care is really warranted. So you can see there's a number of things that need to be done in order to get success. Now there are some other cases where we have to give other more powerful drugs in order to control this. So it's not a simple situation and we have to go in a stepwise approach from easiest to more advanced. So we try to actually be simple with our treatment and using it will help significantly and have control with plaque control. In the very advanced cases, that's when we have to use more advanced drugs and unfortunately more costly drugs as well. And some of these drugs can have side effects on the body. So as a result, we try to minimize the number of cases that we put on these drugs because of that very reason.